Obamacare may be on the ropes in Congress, but it is still popular with Americans. Federal numbers show more than 11.5 million people signed up for coverage as of the end of last year. That's about 300,000 more than the same time a year ago. Republicans say Obamacare will be repealed and replaced. And thousands of people in the state rely on Obamacare. Some fear losing health care altogether if it's repealed. Yeah, with no plan in place, a lot of local folks are reacting to this. News 8's Noel Gardner live for us in News 8 Control tonight with that. Noel. Darren and Ann, it's not surprising that many people are afraid that Affordable Care Act could be repealed. Those who have Obamacare we talked to say it's the first time they've ever had health care and have seen a doctor. As the fate of the Affordable Care Act hangs in the balance, locals who are signed up for it are worried. It's terrifying for a lot of people, including myself. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do if they take it away. Shanita Jones has a newborn baby. She says without the Affordable Care Act, she would have been in debt paying for hospital bills. I was having a hard time getting medical, and uh, once I got the once I got the health care, you know, it definitely helped me out as far as my bills. Jones isn't alone. Craig Pat said before the Affordable Care Act, he didn't have insurance. It's, it's changed my life around. I uh, suffered from substance abuse and mental health issues for years. Uh, without Obamacare, I wouldn't be uh, stable or have access to the care that allows me to, to you know, to function, really. Without the Affordable Care Act, Scott Bird says his mother would never have known she had breast cancer. And she got a, a cancer screening, which she wouldn't have got normally, and she found out she had cancer. If the Affordable Care Act is repealed without a replacement, some say they wouldn't be able to afford health care. People tend to let their medical problems fall by the wayside, especially if uh, there's a monetary reason that they can't afford to pay for things. Some are afraid people won't get the health care they need. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot of people. You know, I've got a lot of people without health care. You know, and you know, we got people now without health care, but then it's going to be even more. Kicking a bunch of people off of health insurance and making them sicker and poorer um, is never good. It's very expensive for health care, especially for single parents with kids, multiple kids like I have. And tonight I reached out to Access Health CT, which is our state's version of the Affordable Care Act. I also reached out to several local health care providers who all say at this point they're waiting to see what happens. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control, Noel Gardner, News 8.